Hey guys, this is Valentina, your local Argentinian Spanish tutor. Welcome back to another video where I give you all the best tips and tricks to perfect your Spanish. And if you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. I'm a tutor for OCTV Overcome the Barrier, a language learning company that offers you the experience of learning Spanish with native speakers from all over Latin America like me. In today's video, we'll talk about a group of verbs called verbs of change or verbs of transformation. These verbs are a great addition to your Spanish vocabulary and they're going to make it go from beginner to absolute pro. So stick around for the video and let's get right on it. or verbs of change are a group of verbs that in English could be translated to to become with the difference that each of them are used in a specific context or to express certain characteristics of said change. Now, verbs of change exist in English as well and some examples are go, turn or get as well as many others. Here are some examples in English so you can understand them better in Spanish. To go crazy, to get rich, to turn dark. Now, all of these verbs express something becoming something different. However, in Spanish, verbs of change are not interchangeable and are used in specific settings. Let's learn them. Number one. Hacerse, from the verb hacer, to do. This expresses a voluntary change that most likely required a process and or effort to get there. Like changes in profession, ideology, or social status. For example, se hizo rico, ella se hizo famosa, or él se hizo doctor. Number two, quedarse, from the verb quedar, to stay. This one most of the time expresses an involuntary change, consequence of a specific circumstance or circumstances. This one is often associated to negative changes. For example, se quedó ciego or se ha quedado viuda. Number three, volverse, from the verb volver, to return. This one implies an involuntary change as well, but it's associated to behavioral changes that are sudden and can be either negative or positive. For example, se ha vuelto loco or te has vuelto fuerte. Number four, ponerse, from the verb poner to put. The thing that makes this one different from the rest is the fact that it doesn't specify for how long the change occurs. So this could mean that it's only monetary. It is often used to express negative changes in one's mood. For example, se puso furioso or me puse triste. Number five, convertirse or transformarse which beside meaning to become can also translate to to transform or to convert. They express a more permanent change as well as one more socially impactful. And they are also more frequently used in literature for dramatic purposes. For example, se convirtió en otra persona. He became someone different. And number six, the last one is not actually a verb, but a construct. Llegar a ser is often used to express positive change after a long process. It implies that the subject worked really hard to get there. For example, llegar a ser médico. Remember that very often these verbs use indirect pronouns. Me for yo, te for tu, se for ella, él, and usted, nos, for nosotros, os, for vosotros, and se again, for ellos, ellas, and ustedes. 
Okay guys, and that's it for the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Remember that the comment section is all yours if you have any questions or suggestions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other content and follow us on all our social media where we post shorter videos to watch on the go that will help you improve your daily conversation in Spanish. As always, make sure to check out OCTV's website and submit to your first free demo lesson and start your journey with Spanish. Y nos vemos aquí. Wow.